to what extent does the Constitution make a reference to religion or a a specific religion, or and especially in countries like Syria where it's multi religions and multi ethnicity and so on. Uh, but the, I mean, and here is again, you know, law and morality, because it, it, it's, the the lawyer is it, it needs to think of what is morally achievable without creating a a a, 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 a social disaster. You know, it's the same idea of necessity. It's like, well, well what what can you what can you get away with without becoming immoral? While if the moral visionary is, of course, thinking in terms of moral aspirations, uh, uh, and uh, the two need to balance each other out. And I, I think, I mean, I told you one proposal that did not work in Egypt, um, it failed, is that I was uh, suggesting that that the reference be um, to that in the preamble to the constitution that we say that we affirm that Allah is justice and that Allah loves justice and justice is the foundation of this constitution and it was my so uh, I, I, my argument is that it, it, here we anchor it, 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 it. Anyone that wants to say this is not Islam would have to say that well, no, ju- uh, 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 not just is not Islam. Uh, the Muslim Brotherhood and the Salafis completely rejected this idea and said no, we we want a reference to Sharia and. Uh, and, and we want the old formulation in the, in the 1970 constitution which said that Sharia is the basis of uh, legislation. So I, I suggested that uh, uh, Sharia be, defi- the essence of Sharia be defined as justice. Uh, that was also rejected and now the Salafis are talking about trying to amend the constitution so it doesn't say Mabadi al-Sharia, principles of Sharia, that it would say Ahkam al-Sharia, okay, the laws of Sharia. I, I hope that they don't succeed but the, the, this, is, this, is the, this is why I, I think it's, uh, um, I, I tell uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, I suspect, let me make a, like, as a, a fortune teller and, and to, I suspect that mm, uh, decades from now, which may Allah give you long health and life, uh, the ideas that you've heard from Sheikh Jaudat and the, the, this discussion and 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 everything from his passion, his vision. In, in the constitutional debate in, at the conference, who demanded Jaudat be on the uh, uh, committee? It's a secular semantic. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. The, the thing is, is that I, I think it's a, it's a, it's a treat for a, especially graduate students who are always you know, overworked and underpaid and miserable and suffering uh, the oppression <laughs> of their supervisors and you know especially their supervisor um, <laughs> you know but but uh, once you emerge out of that oppression uh, which is soon inshallah for all of you or some of you have already emerged out of it the, 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 this vision I think and, and these words and this passion and this this this, this legacy will stay with you for decades and don't ever let her flicker away. I mean, uh, that's why I, I wanted uh, tonight. Don't ever l- l- remember that Sheikh Jaud that is 80 years old or over I mean, Allah give him health and, and he's, he has more energy and more optimism and more so uh, 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 that, that's uh, uh, and that in, in, in my humble view, it can only be achieved in, in the light of, of God. It's, 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 that, that, that to me is a far more sign of, 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 of what I see faith as achieving 
than you know all the zabibas in the world and all the uh, <coughs> subhanallahs and alhamdulillahs that you keep uttering in, in public uh, mm -hmm. left and right. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, anyway, I, I think uh, it's just that this and be with us for, for I think it's, uh, you're here you're here for another couple of weeks or. Yeah. We're going on between the 20, 21st, 22nd to Salt Lake City. We have a program for him. And uh, as you probably know, uh, uh, his son, uh, Mish, right? And um, Afra is his niece. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, I encourage you to follow him around and, and listen to him and learn from him as much as possible. If, uh, but uh, I, I, I've... Um, and he has a website that Bishr actually maintains and that both yeah. of us have edited and translated some of the pieces. Uh, and and we, I also want the list of his books and writings. It's everything actually. He yeah. doesn't believe in uh, ownership of ideas, ideas. So okay, he had yeah. trouble with his publisher. They, they, fell, they fell out of agreement because Jodat wanted all his books to be actually down, to be downloaded by the, you know, any, uh, anybody who's interested. Okay. They're free downloads on his jodasaid.net. It's one word, jodasaid. J A W T. And it's in English and Arabic. W D A T Saeed is S A I D dot net. And I know the. هذه الليلة التي تبدو يعني وكأنها تمر مرة كرام وكأي نظام ولكن أنا لا يعني لا أظن أن سيبقى شخص بعد هذه الليلة وهذا الحوار بدون أن يتغير وإلى الأبد لدرجة أو أخرى بل يعني بعلمي بمن هنا يعني أنت وضعت بذور الله يعلم مدى وهنا ميزة الطلاب اللي اللي بيترعرعوا في جو من القرية النوم يعني ربما إذا قلت هذا الحديث في مصر أو سوريا فهو حديث يثير الشجون حديث الشجون آه لأنه يعني الإنسان عايش في استبداد في كل شيء وإنما هنا على الأقل عادة ما يعلمه هؤلاء الطلبة بالفطرة عن دينهم ويعني لا تتصور مدى قوة هذه هذا هذا العلم الفطري والذكرى والتذكير بهذا العلم الفطري. The thing she showed it is that the part of his message is that he tells us all of us. He reminds us of what we know intuitively. And when we hear him, it's as if we hear something we've known all, our, all, our, all around all our lives. And, and, and it's, it sort of it has this air of remarkable familiarity, as if we've known it from the time we were born, but then we forgot it. And forgot it and forgot it and forgot it. And so that, and that's why it will, it will, it, it will never, it will stay with us forever. But we also have to, to, to fight hard, not to allow it to be forgotten, and to pass it on with with your students, with your children, with Islam. It's it's it's. Um, the, the, the remarkable power of words in the Quran is, is the power of persuasion. Mm. That is what, what allowed civilizations and nations to survive and so on. And when the, the Islam wore the, the, the garb of 
political power and arms and so on, uh, look at the areas that were dominated by sheer arms, like uh, for instance the areas that were defeated in Eastern Europe that were defeated by the Ottomans. Um, the vast majority, as the minute they got the chance, they uh, they, they rebelled against the, the, the or they went back and so on. And, and this is, this is, um, uh, don't, don't, don't forget this. Yeah, I, Ustaz, let me tell you the ayat al-Ataqwa 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 al-